time. Each and every day, 1,440 more minutes tick, tick, tick their way into oblivion, taking with them lost opportunities and the memory that I already used this exact same intro just a couple of videos ago. Hi, I'm Chaz Marler from Pair of Dice Paradise, and for the past three years, four months, and 26 days, I've been a proponent of temporal tracking utilities such as my friend here, the Calendar. And I know that I've been an annual almanac advocate for this long, because I use a calendar. And today, on the Component Proponent, I'll be taking a look not at a component for a board game, but a component about board games, the 2015 Board Game Calendar by Scott King. Saving your game from the mundane, the Component Proponent, yeah. There's many, many reasons why the humble calendar is my favorite method to track the passage of time. It's more portable than a sundial, more practical than waiting until the next ice age, and more accurate than just pretending it's always Thursday. And that's why, when I first heard that there's a calendar featuring fantastic photos of board games, I was so excited that I called up my younger sister to tell her the news. Even though it was four in the morning, she's not into board games, and I don't have a younger sister. Who is this and why do you keep calling me? A board game themed calendar is the ultimate complimentary component for your gaming collection, and that's why mine hangs here in a space of honor among my autograph collection. This particular calendar was created by Scott King, a photographer, gamer, author of several books, and host of his own podcast, The Creator's Cast. Yes, if you want to stop feeling good about the amount of artistic endeavors that you've accomplished in your life, then look no further than to Scott King, Human Ego Check. Looking at Scott, the man who apparently can do everything, King's calendar, each month highlights a particular modern board game with an artistic flair. Some of my favorites include the photo of Gravwell, because he captured a great sense of movement in such a simple little image, Eldric Horror, because it's a beautiful composition, and Alien Frontiers, because it reminds me of my own plans to, one day, conquer the moon. The calendar also includes geeky holidays, such as Star Wars Day, National Cthulhu Eats Spaghetti Day, and Spring Equinox. <laughs> Equinox? <laughs> Come on, Scott. Now you're just making up words. What's more, the calendar also includes the dates of several of the most popular board game conventions such as Dice Tower Con. Oh, which got moved up to late June this year. I need to redo my hotel reservation. Thank you, Scott King's 2015 board game calendar. Where would I be without you? Aww. If you would like more information about this board game calendar, peruse its pictures, and perhaps purchase one of your own, you can do so on Scott, oh look, he can make websites now too, King's website at scottking.info. And if you want to depress yourself by comparing your list of creative achievements against his, you can follow him on Twitter as well, at Scott King. And then you can drive the point home by listening to him on his excellent podcast, The Creators Cast, a show all about content creators and the things that they make. On each 20 minute episode, he speaks to comics artists and writers, filmmakers, authors, game designers, and other online personalities. And even though he's spoken with many media makers on his podcast, oh, there's still plenty more that he hasn't even interviewed yet, some of whom are currently available. Yep. There's at least one media creator that I can think of right now that Scott hasn't had on his show yet. <laughs> if someone was scheduled to appear on the Creators Cast, they could mark the date on their 2015 board game calendar. Ooh, that's handy. So, if you'd like to support a nice, creative member of the board game community, then check out Scott's work. The only thing I don't know about him is if he's a good sport. <laughs> but after he sees this episode, <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to find out. <laughs> okay, take care. Fun fact, 
While working as a reporter for his high school newspaper, Scott King snuck into a press conference for the movie Runaway Bride and met Gary Marshall. Okay, Scott King interviewed Gary Marshall for Runaway Bride, which featured Julia Roberts, who co-starred with Kevin Bacon in Flatliners. It does work.